Hello guys, Mr. LC 1990 here, and it's going to be another FIFA 14 cards video. It's going to be on cards I want to use and I can't wait to use in the game. Obviously, the game's just around the corner now. First thing, guys, if you want to get cheap and reliable coins for FIFA 13, go check out FUT Coin Emporium for cheap and reliable coins. Like I said, if you use the discount code Rossi, you'll get 10% off your orders. That link will be in the description. To make sure to check out and if you're still playing FIFA 13, that is. Um, back onto this video, it's obviously, it's going to be just be cards I want to use. It's going to be the templates, it's going to be the picture, it's going to be stats taken from Foothead. Uh, if you can't see it, a I'm just, apologies for that. I'm not the best on Photoshop. I'm kind of new to this. Obviously, I've been doing YouTube quite a while now, but I'm never known for like my editing or anything like that. It's all done by me, so apologies if it's a little bit off. I'm going to get better in time, hopefully, but I'm learning, so stick with me, guys. I'm sorry if it's a little bit off. We'll move on to our first player now. It's going to be Osvaldo. Now, you can see that I've got his card. I've got a little bit of... Um, writing above it. I like for some reason I've got a little thing for bubble writing at the moment. That's see if I want to get one with like a back in but I haven't found one yet which I like so I'm a little bit off. But he's Osvaldo, he's Brazilian, plays for Sao Paulo. Looks like a really really good player. I don't know if he was in last year's game. I didn't didn't use him if he was. Um, he's a left winger, he's got 90 pace, 84 dribbling. He's, he's one of them players, he's got 5 star week for 4 star skills. It's one of the key things about him which is going to impress me quite a lot. As you can see his in-game stats, he's mainly pace, and I'm not going to lie to you. But he's got like the 84 dribbling, the 74 shooting, uh, and stuff like that. He's only 66 across and a little bit annoying, but I'm not known for my cross and I like to cut in and shoot. He's a right-footed left winger, which is ideal for me. Total stats 400, that's not too bad, considering like... Quite a lot of them are lower than that. But he's only 77 overall rated, so he's not like a massive gold. He's just in the gold ratio. He could easily have been a silver. But he looks like a really good player, and I'm looking forward to using him. He's a decent height as well. Uh, oh, no, actually, he's not. He's 5'6". That's kind of small. It's the same height as me. 25 years old. Medium, medium work rates. Could be better at high, medium, or high, low. But medium, medium isn't bad. He's got the traits of speed dribbling, as I said before. Five-star, weak foot, four-star skill. So pretty good player to look forward to using there. If you haven't looked at him already. Now we're going to move on to the second player now. And he's obviously a guy I want to use badly. It's Bernard. He's Brazilian. Plays for Shakhtar Donetsk. I don't know if I spoke Shakhtar right looking back at that now. But apologies if I haven't. He still hasn't got the badge loaded on the Foothead website for some reason. Not too sure where that is. All the Shakhtar players are the same. Um, he's a cam. And look at his stats on his card. He's got 91 pace which is phenomenal. You can show him up front and he'll do you a shift. 86 dribbling. 71 shooting. 76 passing. He's mainly known for his 5 star skills. 4 star weak foot. Wasn't in the game last year. Uh, played for Athletic Minero, moved to Shakhtar, was linked heavily with like the likes of, uh, I think it's Arsenal, Man City, Man U, Chelsea, everyone in the Premier League pretty much. But as you can see, some of the stats in this card look pretty decent. You've got the 80 crossing, 86 dribbling, 85 ball control, 73 finishing, good free kick accuracy there as well. All right volleys and passing and shot power, etc. Long shots only 64, a little bit disappointing. Overall stats 417, not too bad. Main down thing about him, which a lot of people are probably going to notice, is his 21 strength. I think it's been said about a lot of people now. Strength is a bigger factor in FIFA 14, so I'm told. And so playing the demo, it does seem like that a little bit. But I haven't been able to use people like this yet. So we'll soon find out what that is like. But he does look like a very interesting card, obviously, with 5-star skills, 4-star weak foot. Only 5 foot 3, though, so he's a little piddler. 20 years old, he's got the flair trait, he's got the loyal trait. Which I don't understand the loyal trait, because if you just move the club, how's that loyal? Okay. But anyway, we'll move on to the next player now, which is going to be Martinez. Now, I think he's called, like, Vitel Martinez or something along those lines from Ecuador. And he plays for Tijuana, Tijuana or something like that. Tijuana, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah, he's he's a five-star skiller again, a silver five-star skiller. Looks a little bit like a Neymar, kind of, facially anyway. But he's also got some decent stats in this card. You can see quite a lot of um, oranges on there, which isn't too bad for a silver. He's got some good um, high-rated on the pace etc there he's got okay strength at 60 as well for a five foot nine player only 22 he's a left footed left winger so it's a little bit annoying for me yes that's more likely to cross but he has got a uh, four star week for five star skill so it's absolutely fantastic he dives into tackles apparently a little bit selfish flair and loyal now i don't know what the flair trait will enable in this game but it's always nice to have flair he's got the 80 pace like i said 79 dribbling 69 shooting 67 passing 65 heading on his car for a 75 rated player that's not too bad 405 overall stats that's pretty decent to be fair for a silver he's got some all right stats there as like i've said but i'm looking forward to using him purely because of his five stars because i think a lot of people will probably be looking forward to using this guy like a new guy and all my team see what he is like but we'll move on to the next player now which is going to be one of my favorite players on football manager now bruma i absolutely love this guy i had no idea he was on all my team until i randomly saw someone's pack open and i saw him and i was like holy shit there's my bruma and yeah he's portuguese played for sporting lisbon or sporting um, something or other. 
can't remember what they're actually called. But yeah, he's got 91 pace, 81 dribbling. Absolutely fantastic on Football Manager. I don't know if you guys play Football Manager, if you know. If you go on a few seasons, he gets fantastic. He's one of them potentially good players. He's only just a uh, gold there, as you can see, at a 75 rating. Uh, he's got decent sprint speed, as you can see. He's a rapid player down the wing. He's got the four-star uh, weak foot four star skills which is nice to have he's got the flare trait speed dribbler and loyal again I think he's just moved to sporting if I'm not mistaken I don't really know why does he say the sporting I can't quite remember what the deal is on him but um, someone was saying in the comments on Foothead, how is he loyal or something along those lines. He's only 18 as well, which is pretty cool. 18, uh, sorry, 18? Yeah, he is 18, but I mean, like I was going to say high. High attacking work rates, medium defensive work rate, a 5 for 8 guy. Looking pretty decent on the stats. He's got the 83 dribbling in game. He's got 65 finishing, which is okay, I suppose. But again, he's only just a gold. He would have probably been an epic silver. So I'm a little bit disappointed that he's a gold. But there you go, that's life for you but we'll move on to the final guy now which is a guy just purely because of me if you don't know already i'm of course a leeds fan and dominic polion is new to the game this year and he's one of my favorite players for leeds in real life he's rapidly quick but um he's still learning he's still a young player he's only 19 he's still you know learning in the leagues going up through he uh was in like league one quite a lot last season on lonely two etc but he's got his chance at leeds and he's doing okay to be honest he hasn't don't think he's scored in a league yet he may i can't quite remember actually but he's, he's insanely quick, bringing him off the bench or just having him from the start. He's such a quick, quick player, and he's really skillful. So, so I was a little disappointed to see he's only two-star skills. I mean, three-star maybe would have been nice, but he was pushing four-star. He's a nice, skillful player in real life. I thought he might have that, at least three-star, but I'm only two-star. A little bit disappointed in that, to be fair. He's got high attack work rate, medium defensive work. He's got the flare trait as well, which is a little bit weird for a two-star skill. But there you go. He's got the 84 pace on his card. Again, he's a bronze, so what do you expect? He's just he's mainly pace. <laughs> and he's got the finish. He's got okay finishing dribbling and ball control. Like I said, shot power's not too bad. Penalties are decent. He's got okay strength for sort of 75. That's not too bad, to be fair, to go with that pace. Jumping could be better at 57. But there we go. That is him in all his glory. 350 total stats isn't too bad for a bronze, to be fair to him. So that is the end of this video, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. They're just cards I can't wait to use in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you have enjoyed this video, it's just a little bit of a uh, fun video for me. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. And also leave in the comments like one or two players you can't wait to see or can't wait to use in FIFA Ultimate Team. Obviously, the demo's out now, but you're limited to the players you can use. If you play in the Ultimate Team on that, you can use some decent players. Actually, you've got likes of Ibra, uh, Royce, Bale, Messi, Neymar. You can use all of them in-game, which is actually quite... I don't know, it's a bit disappointing really because I kind of wanted to wait to use them. But I've used them all now, but then obviously you can use them offline if you want. It's better when you're playing online. But thank you very much for watching. I'm kind of rambling on a little bit at the end. Obviously, if you did like this video, be sure to leave a like rating. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'll see you again next time and bye-bye.